So now that you understand some of the basic principles of a pyramid and how it transfers energy, I'm going to show you a little bit deeper just how pyramids work. This might get a little technical now, but in the end, it's really just two things you're going to have to remember. Here's our pyramid. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find out what else this capstone does. We know the amount of sides on it reflects how fast the pyramid's spinning and the pulse rates as well as the intensity of the energy that comes through it. We're going to find out more of what the capstone does now. And we're going to do that simply by measuring this angle right here. Now this pyramid's going to measure approximately 60 degrees. This is all just basic math. Now in order to find the vibration of this pyramid, or what type of vibration this pyramid produces, we're simply going to take this vibration, which in this case, or this angle we're going to take in this case, which is 60 degrees, and we're going to divide that by 2, which equals 30 degrees. So here, we know that this vibration will this, ang or this pyramid will produce a vibration that is 30 degrees. Now what exactly does that mean? Well, first let me give you a couple more examples. This is a really tall, skinny pyramid. Let's say that this pyramid is 24 degrees you measure this angle. So we take 24, we divide it by 2, and now we know that this pyramid will produce a 12 degree vibration. Okay, let's look at another one. How about a really wide, short pyramid? Looks something like this. And we'll say that this angle here measures 140 degrees. Well, we take that 140, we divide it by 2, and that equals 70 degrees. So all different pyramids, right? Obviously, they're going to have different effects. So to really understand a pyramid, you've got to understand, well, with a real tall, skinny pyramid is going to produce what effect? What about a real short, fat, wide pyramid? What type of effect is that going to produce? Well, that's what we're finding out right now with this capstone. Now that we know how to find the vibrational equivalent of the pyramid. Now it's time to look at what that vibration means. We've got three different vibrations, 30 degrees, 12 degrees, and 70 degrees. Let's find out exactly what that means.